Langflow is a great way to build AI applications. We're gonna look at how you can host this so you can expose it over an API and use it in any user interface. What we're gonna do is go to our dashboard and flight control and um, we are gonna get started. So we'll create a project and we're going to say we connect to our GitHub repository that is our fork. So this is a fork that I just created. It was data stacks, now it's tagesq slash host langflow. And we're gonna choose our GitHub repository, tagesq slash host langflow. When I click on this, I have to enter some settings. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna choose my AWS account, which is this one. And I'm gonna deploy it in EU Frankfurt because I'm based in Germany. It's just easier, faster that way. So now you can choose a bunch of presets. We're going to build our own uh, because we're using Docker. And we're going to build a web server. And here is where we have to fill in some stuff. So this is gonna be a Docker file. And then we need to um, enter a port. So the internal port for Langflow is 7860. The health check path is slash health. Um, and we're going to make sure all our configuration looks, we don't have to do anything else. That's it. And we add the service. Um, we just need one service really, which is this two gigabyte Fargate instance. So we're going to create this project and it's going to create a way. And in about 12 minutes, we're going to have Langflow deployed to AWS. Provision, nine, six minutes left, but it looks good so far. So we're going to leave that. It's still provisioning with one minute to go. And honestly, this is the this is the thing that's the trickiest with AWS. AWS tends to be cheaper, better at scale, but somewhat slower to provision. Um, when it, it looks like it's just finishing up though. So we're almost there. Um, as soon as it's done, we're gonna have Langflow deployed on AWS as well, and we can take a look. But let's let's just stop and watch this for a second. So I'm just gonna come here and watch. Okay, are you ready? But here, this is now deployed to AWS. And if we zoom out a little bit and zoom in over here on this CloudFront link, we click there and we have Langflow running on AWS. Let's create our first flow, basic prompting, and publish this with API access. And there we have a HTTPS CloudFront URL. This is how you can make Langflow accessible over the internet. If you're wondering about what you can build with Langflow, well, this YouTube channel has a lot of suggestions about that. We also have a blog and social media. Follow us on X and Discord. There's links under the like button for ideas about what you can build and now what you can expose over the internet as MCP servers, AI agents, or more. We can't wait to see what you build and we look forward to being part of the conversation. See you next time.